85. Really? For, as I say, uh, uh, the Vice Lord. Yeah. Uh, about three months of summer that we had. Weren't there bugs? Huh? Weren't there bugs? Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but they, uh, mosquitoes were the biggest uh, problem. Yeah. But they uh, managed to control them by sp in, in oh. the springtime, springing, putting oil on the uh, any loose water oh. streams. Uh, oh. That's where they breed, you know. I know. And uh, that pretty well kept, kept but still, oh, yeah. I, that was a, a problem, mosquitoes. <laughs> it, um, You'd have fenced-in porches. No. Or, or, or screened-in porches. Not fenced-in. Screened-in no, porches. it wasn't quite uh, that bad. <laughs> oh, that was Minnesota. Well, we, we yeah. did uh, in uh, St. James, that old house that we lived in there, had a fenced-in uh, veranda. And we used to sleep out there at night. <laughs> that was a big, uh, nice deal. And especially when uh, you had uh, lightning. And, and, and it was an uh, adventure trip. But uh, yeah, we, uh, but uh, that was in Charles, so it didn't, didn't have that. Um, it was just two years old when we uh, moved in. It was almost new. Ah. Oh. And uh, so they were doing that. By that time, they're doing away with the veranda concept. Hmm. But uh, let's say, uh, and Winnipeg was loaded with, with trees. It was noted hmm. for its trees all along the boulevards and everything like that. People hmm. uh, from uh, down south come up to <clears throat> Winnipeg, and that's the first thing they'd say is. My, you have lovely trees here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got enough water to, uh, to do all that, just from, from rain. Yeah. It had rain maybe uh, once a week. Wow. A, a good size uh, rain, and the rest of the time you had uh, nice sun. Oh, well, uh, you know, it went up to the the beaches up north. Uh, Winnipeg. The, the huge, that huge lake up north, Lake Winnipeg. Yeah. And you had beaches, uh, you know, with the built up uh, boardwalks. Uh, deals, uh, mm -hmm. you know, boardwalks and everything like that. Yeah. that uh, beaches, and that was a big deal uh, to get up there. And How uh, far away was that? About 60 miles. Oh. You'd have a train go up there. Ah. You know, you'd have the, <laughs> the, the trains that would go up there to, uh, to each side. And huh. uh, that was always a, a big thrill when you're young to get on board the train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> huh. And uh, th those, um, that's where the majority of the people in Winnipeg would uh, go for in the summer for a, and they had these you know these poor uh, some people uh, entrepreneurs that built cabins for you to live in while you're up there and they were just basic <laughs> real basic yes mainly just a ca just a, a small little uh, house like a shack yeah. with uh, a few uh, divided rooms for bedrooms and small bedrooms and and uh, a kitchen, uh, but there was nothing. I guess there was a a stove, <laughs> a, w a wood stove, <laughs> burning wood, uh -huh. and uh, that was it for uh, cooking your meals. You know. <laughs> If you wanted to uh, do that, rather than eat uh, on the boardwalk, mm -hmm. and uh, but you had didn't ha even have water. <laughs> you had no water, a sink, and didn't have anything. <laughs> they were that basic. Wow. They were just basic. Yes. Sort of like uh, camping. Taking a, a tent. And yeah. Going on. <laughs> but it was made made of wood <laughs> and had a roof. <laughs> Wow. But 
it, it was adventuresome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Especially as a kid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what, what they had was each little, uh, every little group of about 10 or 12 of these shacks would have a central uh, water tap. Oh. And, and she, <laughs> If you wanted water, you, you went down there with a pail and got water. As I say, the, the houses themselves didn't have water. <laughs> wow. It was uh, a, a, a shade below what we, what we had back home in, in St. James. Yes. We had water in our house. <laughs> yes. Wow. Huh.